So here we're pouring liquid nitrogen into a large glass vacuum doer flask. We're doing this a bit carefully because although the doer should be able to withstand the extreme temperature shock of liquid nitrogen, uh, it doesn't have its safety shield on, which we took off for photography. There's a possibility of it shattering and sending uh, shards of broken glass mixed with liquid nitrogen in all directions. The first few times I did this, I stuck my hand in only partway and really fast. I started going a little deeper and a little bit longer, but still only for a fraction of a second. The instant it starts biting into your skin, things could happen very fast. So it's not a good idea to push the limit of how long you can keep your hand in there before the protective layer of evaporating nitrogen gives out. After a while, the moisture in the air condensed not only on the doer flask, but also directly into the liquid nitrogen itself. Uh, the best thing to do with excess liquid nitrogen uh, is to pour it into a lake. It floats, so it's not going to hurt the fish or anything, but it makes uh, a spectacular amount of very beautiful white smoke.